Hello and welcome to a new tutorial of PenPot, the design and prototype uh, open source tool. So today we are going to review the workspace interface, so let's go. It is uh, divided in, in a few sections. First of all, uh, we have the canvas where the magic happens. I, here you can drag, drop, uh, edit, transform elements, text, etc. Uh, it's very very easy. You could select items and have these handy cursors to uh, rotate elements, transform, etc. You can do pan with the mouse wheel and uh, have more options with the contextual menu doing right click. Okay, let's go. Uh, here in the left side we have the toolbar with the main options you could do uh, and you could create uh, new shapes like square, the artboards, text, import images, paths, curves and create comments. Uh, below that we have all the sidebar options, uh, here we can see the items, layers, uh, sidebar, we, where the, the, we have a hierarchy tree with all the elements, groups and components. Uh, here uh, we have the assets section where we could uh, import uh, graphics, uh, SVG icons, illustration, etc. We could manage and uh, create components and store them into our library. And we can uh, manage and create uh, color palettes and a text style. Below that, we have the uh, under history. You could uh, review all the steps that we are uh, working with and uh, at the bottom we have the color palette which is very handy uh, to uh, assign colors and view all the color palettes we are uh, working with. So at the right side we have the element sidebar. Uh, here we can see all the options that the element selected uh, has for example, if we select this text, we could change the color, uh, create shadow effects, blur, modify the texture option, etc. It depends on the type of element we have selected. For example, this is a shape, we have a border radius, uh, etc. Okay. At the, top, at the top of the workspace, we have the, the header. This uh, icon, the penpot pen icon, uh, is used to go back to your files, to your dashboard. Uh, here we have the menu of the workspace. We can enable and disable things like uh, dynamic alignment, uh, grids, uh, etc. Uh, create uh, and remove shared libraries, etc. Here we have the uh, file name. We could, with double click, uh, change the name of the file and navigate to the project that uh, the file is included. In, at the middle of the of the header, we had the the user that are current online working with you. <laughs> By now, I'm alone, but if we have teammates working with me or uh, sharing things with me in this file, uh, here we could see their avatars. At the right side we have the, the status of the file. If we make modifications we could see that the save changes and now saved. It is, uh, Penpot saves uh, the, state, the status of the file automatically. Here we could see the, the zoom options and there we have the view mode. So yep that's all for the, for this video. Thank you so much. I hope you it is handy for uh, helpful for you and see you next time.